Video cameras are everywhere. We bring you the pictures they've captured. Sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's funny, but it's always real TV. A news camera captures a scene of agony. As a woman worries about her friends who live inside this burning building. God, please don't let her be in there. This high-speed police chase is about to end in a spectacular crash. This jet travels the sky, looking to get struck by lightning. See the tape of the race car sliding on its roof. And why did Chicken Little fall from the sky? Whatever you do, don't blink. I don't know! Real TV is on the air. Hi, I'm John Daly, back with more great tapes and the stories behind them. We begin in Southern California, where a house fire rages out of control. Neighbors are frantically trying to find out whether anyone is home. A man with a video camera is on the scene, even before the fire department. You're about to see the drama unfold as it happened. And remember, you'll never see a reenactment on this show. Our Michael Brownlee has the tape. Fire rips through a converted garage that a mother and her young baby call home. Sirens ring out in Lancaster, California, as clouds of black smoke billow from the windows and flames gut out the inside. A freelance cameraman is first on the scene as the drama unfolds. A panic-stricken neighbor races over to the burning home. She yells to the family who lives there to get out. Is in there? The cameraman tries to get answers from the distraught woman. Is there anyone in there? But with every passing second, the woman's panic turns to hysteria. Feeling helpless, she kneels down and prays that her friend and child are not trapped inside. A sheriff's deputy arrives and attempts to kick the door open, but it's jammed. Firefighters roll up and take over. Deputies try to clear the scene, but neighbors continue to stand by and watch in horror, awaiting the fate of their friend. Firefighters finally get the door open. They crouch down low, avoiding the smoke and flames, looking for any signs of life. They don't find any. Then, a nearby neighbor tells firefighters that the mother and child were both staying the night at a friend's house, putting to rest everyone's worst fears. The fire is put out, and hope is replenished. A thorough search by firefighters confirms that no one is inside. But the haunting images of this videotape reflect the night one neighbor's frantic prayers were answered. The fire department says a camping stove that was left on is the cause of the fire. Well, in Macon, Georgia, police conduct a high-speed chase of a suspect trying to get away. And the camera in the patrol car records the spectacular end to this pursuit. You're in Macon, Georgia, racing along with a state trooper at over 100 miles an hour. It began as a speeding violation, but the speeder wouldn't stop. Now it's a pursuit, and the dashboard camera records it all for evidence. The speeder pulls into the emergency lane, but still won't stop. The trooper clocks him at 80 miles an hour on the shoulder. Finally, the wanted car slows and stops. The trooper sees four young men in the car, and something doesn't look right. He orders the driver out. The driver walks back to the police cruiser, 
but tells the trooper he left his wallet in the car. The young man returns to his car, gets in, and takes off. The chase is on again. After less than a minute, the driver goes for the exit. But he oversteers and loses control. Looking at the wreck again, this time in slow motion and with special digital enhancement, you first see a cloud of dust. Then you see the car rolling, flipping over and over. Here, we've highlighted two men who have been thrown from the car. You can see them running up the embankment. Trooper Scott Andrews runs the two men down and makes the arrest, handcuffing them to a highway guardrail. The others will be caught by his backup team. Later, during the investigation, Trooper Andrews finds out how dangerous these four men were. I learned that they were suspects in several armed ro robberies in the state of Florida and also homicide of an officer in the state of Florida. Trooper Andrews says the men in the car had plans for him. When I made the initial stop, they were attempting to lure me to the vehicle to shoot me. Uh, the 9mm was handed to the driver. He had jacked around into the chamber and was going to shoot me there and take off. He says he's lucky he followed his instinct and ordered the driver out of the car during that first stop. That one decision as far as not going to the vehicle did save my life. I feel that today. I thank God for telling me not to go to that car. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Police found two guns inside the car. All four suspects were convicted in Georgia and Florida for their crimes. Well, off the coast of Oregon, a fishing boat has capsized, and now the Coast Guard springs into action. You're about to see the rescue as it happened with videotape we've obtained from the Coast Guard. Here's our Sabila Vargas. The two men you see in the water are in big trouble. Their 14-foot boat has capsized just off the shore of Newport, Oregon. A Coast Guard helicopter is on the scene within minutes, just in time. The victims are not wearing life preservers, and they're getting pounded by 10-foot waves. The Coast Guard lowers a rescue swimmer into the water. A boat circles in the background as the rescue swimmer grabs one of the victims but loses his grip when another wave drives them both underwater. Finally, the rescuer is able to attach the man to the helicopter cable. Together, they are pulled up out of the water before another massive wave can push them under. As the man is being airlifted to emergency crews on the nearby jetty, his buddy is really struggling in the water. A Coast Guard camera shows him being swallowed up by the sea. A rescue boat is having trouble getting close enough in the shallow waters, so they throw him a lifeline and pull him to the boat. Not a moment too soon, the second victim is pulled to safety. All right. Our congratulations to the people at the Coast Guard base in Yakina Bay, and our thanks to them for sharing their tape with us. Well, you know the fairy tale about Chicken Little who made a career out of yelling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling? Well, in this next tape, it's Chicken Little who does the falling. Why did the chicken jump out of the plane? To land in the mashed potatoes. It's actually Chris Wenzel and his team of skydivers promoting the opening of the 500th Boston Market Restaurant in Brea, California. Make no bones about it, this is no easy stunt. The team must jump and land into a tub filled with styrofoam mashed potatoes. 
cameras capture the fine feathered men as they hit their mark perfectly. The promotion is a success, and the skydivers live to fly another day. That is, unless they chicken out. Still ahead, go along for a ride with the pilots who like to get struck by lightning. Plus, watch these seven smokestacks get knocked down like bowling pins. Later, auto racing thrills caught on tape. And the story of the unlucky Ugly Duckling. No scripts, no actors. Real TV returns in a moment. Hey, the man here is looking for his wife. Traveling with a guy with a baseball cap. Has anybody here seen him? Looks like she got away from you, cowboy. If someone you love suddenly disappeared. Is there a possibility she could have left you? My wife did not leave me. I saw what happened. What would you do to get her back? Boone, what do you want? Kurt Russell, Breakdown. You better pray she's alive. Rated R starts Friday, May 2nd, everywhere. <laughs> not yet. Getting warmer. Now, it's official. It's not really summer until you have your ballpark. Only ballpark franks have such a big, juicy taste. They plump when you cook them. Don't you just love summer? It's Sears Days, and it only happens twice a year. Our lowest prices of the season. Like this Craftsman 15.5 horsepower tractor, just $11.77. And our most powerful Craftsman mower, 6.6 .6 horsepower, only $2.97. So get to Sears Days. There's nothing like them. He's a man on a mission. Side, Wotai Mesa. If there's a story, he's got it covered. Rod Luck, KUSI Morning News, coming soon to your town. Their standards are low. Did we wake you up? No, sir. We've been up since the crack of noon. Their morale is high. What's this? These are photos of women the men use as an Shut up! And their discipline Duck. is non-existent. It's party time! But when the chips are down... There goes tonight's luau. No way. They're ready for action. Big way. Okay, we can't take everything. McHale's Navy. Um, leave the guns. Rated PG. It's Friday at a theater near you. This is the McDonald's drive through The fastest place in the universe to get a my size meal. Olay! Buy any drink, any size, and hash browns, and get one of four great breakfast sandwiches for 55 cents. 55 cents every day. Is this a great planet or what? On the next Seinfeld, Jerry's a real macho man. Why don't you relax and take your jacket off? Oh, I can't. I uh, have a tendency to get chilly. <laughs> Plus, I'm wearing short sleeves. I don't want to expose my tattoos. <laughs> George is not so much Not who I am. Who am I? Do you date uh, immature men? <laughs> Almost exclusively. Tonight at 7, followed by Extra on KUSI. You're watching the show you help produce every time you bring out your video camera. It's real TV. Now, back to John Daly. Welcome back. If there's one lesson we've learned here on Real TV, it's to respect the power of Mother Nature. Take lightning, for example. The heat from a lightning strike can be hotter than the surface of the sun. But we found tape of some pilots whose job it is to fly right into a lightning storm. It's hardly ever caught on tape. But when lightning strikes, it can be deadly. That's what Project Storm Hazard is trying to prevent. Direct strike to the aircraft. That was a nose boom strike. This electrifying footage has just been released to Real TV by NASA. The crew of this F-106 fighter jet is flying in the eye of a storm. Their mission, believe it or not, to have lightning strike. So I heard three rumbles down the airplane. Bam, bam, bam. We would penetrate the storms and try and get struck by lightning as frequently as we could. A camera mounted on board the jet captures every bolt. The main objective of the Storm Hazard Program is to study lightning and the danger it poses to planes and their passengers. 
After six years, thousands of missions, and 714 lightning strikes, researchers now know what precautions to take to prevent them from damaging planes and causing death. We also ascertain where does lightning physically attach to an aircraft. Watch as this lightning bolt hits the plane and travels across the wing. This invaluable data is now used by the military and commercial airlines. They are building better, stronger, and safer planes. They say lightning never strikes twice. NASA hopes it will never strike at all. I heard three rumbles down the airplane. Bam, bam, bam. All this new information was incorporated into the design of the Boeing 757, 777, and the newest French Airbus models. Well, we have a saying here at Real TV, if a building is demolished and there's no camera there to record it, it's as if the building never fell. Fortunately for us, cameras are all over the place, so we can bring you this demolition mini-marathon. We begin in Johannesburg, South Africa, where crowds jam rooftops and cameras catch the preparations. This is a big job, not just a building, it's a whole block. The old block had to go to make room for a giant new office building. Okay, wipe off the dust and get ready for blast number two. Now we're in Panama City, Panama, where the nation's oldest prison is about to become history. Here goes. Welcome to Allentown, Pennsylvania, in building takedown number three. First, home video cameraman Jay Seaman takes us on a quick and shaky tour of the city, finally focusing on the demolition du jour. This is Corporate Plaza, a $10 million office building that's just 10 years old. But you'll notice it isn't in great shape. A sinkhole opened up, and the building started crumbling. Owners called in the American Demolition Company, and you know what happens when they show up. The blast turned a seven-story building into a two-story junk pile. Finally, take a long last look at Detroit Edison's so-called Seven Sisters Power Plant. The name comes from those seven 350-foot-tall smokestacks. They've been a part of the Detroit River skyline for more than 80 years. But now the coal-burning plant is closed, the end of an era. With one push of a button, the seven sisters disappear from Detroit skyline. And that's our demolition wrap-up for today. Four takedowns from four locations around the world, all captured by video cameras for Real TV and your viewing pleasure. And we'll be right back. Up next, scary moments on the race course. Plus, they're dancing their way into the record books. We'll be right back. Tonight on the News at 10, meth labs and dealers find out the neighbors do care. Why a meth hotline is paying off big time for San Diego law enforcement. I'm Kathy Clark. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets a new heart valve. We'll update his condition and report on his future. All that flooding in the Midwest may affect the prices you pay for groceries. And Bayoun and Shishi get some privacy during their mating season. We'll go where the public can't go to see how they're getting along. That's tonight at 10. It's Outdoor Week at Home Base, your chance to get base buys throughout the store. For instance, UCI Redwood Stain is $5.99 a gallon every day. For Outdoor Week, it's a base buy of $3.99. Outdoor Week only happens once a year, so hurry in today. Go to the base, home base. Uh, why do I watch the Padres on Channel 4? I, I try to get down to the ballpark as often as I can, but it's not always easy. What with the kids karate, soccer, ballet, diving, math tutoring, horseback riding, and, and dog training. And that's just Melanie. Andrew has softball, gymnastics, roller hockey, Call chess Cox clubs, Communications and now and get cable installed for only $4.95 when you purchase oh, a premium service. Did I mention Timmy? He's the busy one. Then you can be one of the pod people, too. Best man, time for your speech. 
I remember Ted's first wedding. He knew his way around. What was the lady's name? Kathy, uh, I feel like I know almost better than Ted. <laughs> Be a victim of bitter bear. Drink Keystone, America's never bitter bear. Never a bad taste, never a bitter face. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you. Stop making faces. Drink Keystone. Won't talk. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? You know what I'm going to do to you? <laughs> oh, it, it boggles the mind. This is diet? Yeah, it's diet. But how could diet taste as good? It's Outdoor Week at Home Base. Your chance to get base buys throughout the store. For instance, Scott's Turf Builder is $7.99 every day. For Outdoor Week, it's a base buy of $6.99. Outdoor Week only happens once a year, so hurry in today. Go to the base. Home Base. No matter how much people try to deny it, one of the biggest attractions in an auto race is the possibility of a spectacular crash. Well, no need to sit through lap after endless lap. We've got the tape you've secretly been waiting for. It may look like a typical day at the races, but for these guys, things just couldn't get any worse. Looks like AAA is going to be busy. And after all that's happened, it's good to see that they still have a sense of humor. Well, now for a tape that's a bit tamer, but no less interesting. It's about the ugly duck that just can't stay out of trouble. There are just some days when you should stay in bed, even if you're a duck and you don't own a bed. Take this unlucky duck. He's stuck between a floating pipe and a board. Well, somebody's going to walk out and get him, aren't they? Maybe not. I guess it must have been close to an hour ago when I saw the duck there. First time I got that Cameras around. roll as the cavalry finally arrives, but it doesn't seem like they're all that eager to save the day. Or the duck. Wouldn't want that kind of a guy in the foxhole with me. Tired of waiting, this Spokane man figures he'll come to the rescue. Hey, what the hell could they, what would they do to me? Take me down a, and, and give me a fine, you know, for trespassing? But in the nick of time, paramedics decide to keep the feisty duck lover on the shore and make the rescue themselves. All they had to do was walk out on the catwalk, reach down, pick it up, and release it. Simple as that. No big deal. I'm glad it's over with. Squad one's back in service. Not so fast, big guy. We told you it just wasn't the duck's day. Now he's getting attacked in his own neighborhood. Look at that. They're hurting him, and he just got sick. It's time for another rescue. A bystander breaks up the fight and moves the unlucky duck upriver. Oh, is he hurt or broken or? Oh, he's shaking. Yeah, he well, they were attacking him over there. We're not sure if this plucky duck survived the day, but we have high hopes. The last time he was seen in the viewfinder, he was paddling peacefully toward a bridge. And we'll be right back with the tape of Dance Fever hitting Australia. Next time on Real TV, drama in the air. A paratrooper is stuck on a speeding plane. How will they get him down? Next, Real TV. If you have Real TV, call us toll free at 1 888 Real TV 1 or on the web, we're at realtv1.com. Colorful taste, pure fat free, wishbones down and beautifully. Never dull, never flat. This fat free is too bold for that. Take a peek, take a pour, look at what you're looking for. Of robust flavor. Wishbone lets you pour on the taste. Wishbone world's most colorful taste.
Taste the rich red color of Wishbone Red Wine Vinaigrette. Fat-free and regular. Got to get spruced up for the big deal at Black Angus. This month, you can save 12 bucks. Get two half-pound prime rib dinners. Share their wagon wheel appetizer sampler. Then split a big mountain fudge cake. Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> the whole shoot match for two, just $25. That's over 12 bucks off the regular price. <laughs> Appetizer. <laughs> Makes me all warm and toasty just thinking about it. The best homes, the best interiors, the best gardens. San Diegans everywhere are talking about San Diego Home Garden Lifestyles magazine. Subscribe now by calling 800-417-8100. Look for the art-filled living room on the cover. This month, we'll show you how to attract wildlife to your garden. You know something about gardens, don't you, Pat Welsh? A little bit, yes. Matter of fact, I've written a couple of books on the subject. Do you read the magazine? Absolutely. Cover to cover. Of course, I'm partial to the magazine's garden coverage, but I also love the features on interiors and architecture. Well, this month we'll explore interiors as we take a look at hard surfaces and give you ideas on how and where to use them. We also have features on a dream kitchen in Poway and great interiors in Del Mar. San Diego Home Garden Lifestyles Magazine. Get it at your favorite newsstand or call now to subscribe. 800-417-8100. That's 800-417-8100. On the next Seinfeld, pretty women upset George. I forgot who I am. Who am I? <laughs> Get lucky. Do you date uh, immature men? <laughs> Almost exclusively. Coming up next on KUSI. Promotional consideration sponsored by... If you're a homeowner looking to consolidate bills, call First Plus. You'll get an answer on your loan before you hang up. Call 1-800-510-PLUS. For dry eyes, red eyes, clear eyes not only removes redness, it has an ingredient to moisturize, too. Clear eyes. Closed captioning sponsored by... I've always fought my bathroom scale, but my fight's just gotten easier with Diet System 6. Don't fight alone. Take it from me. Diet System 6 is the only weight loss program I recommend. Finally, there are two ways for dancers to make it into the Guinness Book of World Records. One way is by dancing a marathon and setting the record for doing it the longest. There is an easier way. Here in Tamworth, Australia's country and western music capital, making records is nothing new. Except, of course, if you're at the annual country music festival, and the record is for the world's longest line dance. 5,502 people from around the world toe-tapped and boot-scooted their way down Main Street, all ending up in the Guinness Book of World Records. That's it for now. There's more Real TV next time.